This session is regarding solution of linear time invariant systems. Linear time invariant systems are categorized as A. Autonomous systems represented by x dot equal to ax B. Forced systems represented by x dot equal to ax plus B. Here, u is termed as the forcing function. We have already seen that, that u is termed as input. For the time being, we discuss the solution of autonomous systems. LTI that is linear time invariant autonomous systems. Let us consider an autonomous system represented by x dot equal to ax. This is a linear time invariant autonomous system. In order to obtain the solution, first we take the Laplace transform of the given equation. That is, S x of S minus x of 0 equal to A x of S. Moving x of S terms towards one side, we have S i minus A x of s equal to x of 0. It should be noted that si minus a is pre-multiplied to x of s. It is pre-multiplied to x of s. Now, we are trying to find what is x of t. To obtain that, we should separate x of s from this equation. For that, we can pre-multiply again the, the given equation by Si minus A inverse. This results in X of S is equal to Si minus A inverse X of 0. X of T can be obtained by taking the Laplace inverse of this one. That is X of S. Laplace inverse of Si minus A inverse X of 0. That is X of T equals Laplace inverse of Si minus A inverse X of 0. X of 0 can be written outside Laplace inverse or it can be included along with Si minus A inverse within the bracket. Both remains right. We have now the solution for the linear time invariant autonomous system represented by x dot equal to ax. Here, si minus a inverse is called the resolvent. Resolvent of a.
we have Laplace inverse of SI minus A inverse at the right side of the above equation and Laplace inverse of SI minus A inverse is called state transition matrix. It is also denoted by STM. That is X of T equals Laplace inverse of SI minus A inverse into X of 0. Basically this is called state transition matrix because it relates x of 0 to x of t. We can find the state variables at any time t from its initial value through Laplace inverse of SI minus A inverse. Hence the name state transition matrix. Now we move to the second part that is solution of linear time invariant forced systems. For which we take the equation x dot equal to ax plus bu with a forcing function u. The same rule can be applied to find the solution of forced systems too. Take the Laplace transform of the above equation and we get S x s minus x 0 equal to A x s plus B u of s. We have S i minus A x of s equal to x of 0 plus b u of s. x of x s can be tracked by pre multiplying by si minus a inverse. And x of t is nothing but the Laplace inverse of Si minus A inverse into X of 0 plus Laplace inverse of Si minus A inverse B U of S. Here all the terms should be inside Laplace inverse because we have Si minus A inverse B and then multiplication by u of s. All these are functions of s. It can be noted that this two have the state transition matrix in its fundamental equation. In the above equation The first term is called zero input state solution. And the second term is called zero state state solution. We will see why this is zero state input solution. This is because x of t will depend only on this when the second term is absent. When does the second term be absent? 
when the input is 0 that is when u of t equal to 0 hence the first term is called 0 input state solution similarly x of t will be equal to the second term when the first term is equal to 0 when does it happen when the x of 0 is equal to 0 which represents 0 state when the state is 0 when the initial state is 0 hence we have x of t as 0 input state solution and 0 state state solution x of t for a linear time invariant forced system is a combination of these two thank you